AWS reInvent. I'm Cassidy Quinn with GeekWire Studios, now joined by Fatih Nar with Red Hat. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you for inviting. So tell me all about Red Hat and how are you simplifying the work for service providers and other customers? So the core DNA at Red Hat is pretty much based on open source. Whatever we do, we upstream to the community and we work with the community to innovate and deliver enterprise-grade enterprise software and applications. So innovation together, deliver together, and support together. That's the core DNA of our company, open source. Yeah, what are some tangible examples of how you've simplified and advanced work for the different service providers? So service providers differ between industries, as you would expect, say, from telecom, media, entertainment, entertainment is one big industry where there are a lot of complex workloads and applications. Those complex applications need to be simplified into the networking, the storage and interaction, where we come in and help developers as well as operation teams to maintain their sanity and together delivering the good performance with our portfolio as well as our part partner portfolio. So, Long story short, we are helping to modernize applications, deliver applications, and also innovate with our platform. And how does open source help with all of that? So the core, everything we do, if you're familiar, we start with the Linux as the operating system back in time and still with the core business is the Linux distro. On top of, we added the virtualization with the OpenStack and then there comes the Kubernetes. Now we are dealing with the managing more complicated and scaled up version of these platforms with our advanced cluster manager, advanced cluster security, everything that could run on-prem as well as on cloud. So the key here is whatever you see around, some solutions work in some areas in some infrastructures. With us, since we are op offering open source, the consistency by means of experience and performance is, is our key deliverable. So you can run your applications with us on-premise in your data center, and you can scale up and burst to cloud, the same API, same experience, same performance. You don't need to worry about, oh, shall I look at their API? Shall I look at this cloud, their API catalog? No, with us, it's just consistent experience. Consistent, simpler, what about cost? Very good question. So the cost comes down to what you are getting by means of simplicity, because at the end of the day, if you have I would say platform teams, that has to be flown with the AWS or Google or Azure. It's a cost to have in-house in talent to maintain that knowledge together with the, you know, when you do not only from talent perspective, your applications has to be fluent on these platforms as well. So if your application working fine, very good on EC2, but struggling with the GC, the Google Compute Engine, you're going to struggle with multi-cloud strategy. This is where we come in and simplify this for you for operations as well as your scale. The cost structures come down to the DNA of what you are consuming, consumption-based model. So we kind of adopted that in our last journey with cloud and cloudification. Everything goes down to the consumption model, like in the rest of the industry. So what's next for Red Hat? Very good question. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, but, but if you walk around in here, you will see a lot of AI companies that are popping up like Mushroom there, there and there. And you see kind of go a little bit one level down. I saw this application two years ago. He wasn't saying AI. It's kind of, people kind of just stamping AI on everything. But us, we are trying to reinvent and also revise our products to use the intelligence and efficiency that can be brought by AI. So we are heavily focusing on using and leveraging AI to offer our application developers and consumers and customers to use us and our offerings more efficiently as in a smart way. Such as it, before you had the platform team of say 100 people with our AI capability embedded, you will lower that number operational cost to the 50% down for example. So next thing like in the rest of the industry for us is embracing the impact of AI in a good way, lowering the OPEX and also introducing more innovative way of doing things. So how can Red Hat be approached if someone wants to transform their business? Well, come and visit us in our booth, first of all. And then we have a portal, developer portal, developer.redhat.com, where you can come and you know, register yourself, get free subscription, access to all the tools free of charge. Even if, say, you are a startup, you want to kind of launch your service with us, we'll offer you free subscriptions to the certain degree that you can start making money. Then we're going to sit down with you, hey, we would like to help you for your growth not only from technology, but also from VC side, from partnering side. So long story short, redhat.com is, is the place to come by. Well, thank you so much, Pati. Have a great rest of your time here at reInvent. And thank you for joining us here at GeekWire Studios.